welcome back to my channel. Now I hope you guys <laughs> my phone. Oh my goodness, that was really flipping scary. My phone just fell. Oh and G. It didn't though, because I caught it. Hallelujah, what a great start. Now, welcome back to my channel, guys. I hope you're all having a fab time wherever you are in the world right now. Now, for today's video, I'm actually gonna be testing out H&M makeup by applying a full face to my face. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. As far as H&M goes, I absolutely love it as a brand. I shop there all the time. However, I've never actually shopped for their makeup. I've never tried any of their makeup items out before. So I'm very excited for this video. So it's gonna be like my first impressions and I'm just gonna be testing it out on my face. This video has been so highly requested by you guys. And in fact, so has just testing items and makeup in general. So if there's a certain video like this that you want to see maybe testing another makeup brand then let me know down in the comments below and if you guys enjoy this then please smash a big thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you guys haven't already and without further ado I hope you guys enjoy I'm super excited for this video so let's get into it I have so much makeup here this is so flipping exciting and by the way I don't actually have the receipt on me so I'm gonna leave the prices somewhere on the screen but the first thing that I do want to talk about is how amazing the packaging is. I don't really want to talk about this for too long because, oh, we're just dropping everything because I know it can be kind of boring, but the packaging is literally so, so nice for all of this. It looks very high end. This is actually the only primer that I saw in the store. There wasn't much variety and I don't really tend to use mattifying primers. I prefer a primer that's more moisturizing on my skin, but I'm sure this will be great. So I'm very excited to give it a go. So let's open this bad boy up. Oh, it's pretty though. I really like this. It's like matte black, which is so nice. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and then just rub it around my face. Oh, actually, it looks quite moisturizing. Like, it looks kind of like creamy. Mmm, it feels quite creamy as well, which is quite nice. So I'm literally just going to rub this around my face. It already actually feels a lot nicer than I was expecting it to, which is so, so good. I mean, as far as primers go, I can't really, you know, I can't really be the one to say, oh, it's absolutely amazing because until I actually apply a full face of makeup, I can't really say what this is like. But it does feel actually quite nice on my skin. It feels quite moisturizing, which I wasn't really expecting it to. However, it does feel kind of sticky, but I guess that means it's going to work. Now, moving on to foundation. This is the all day liquid foundation with a flawless finish claiming it's gonna last all day is a very big claim So I'm really flipping hoping this works again the packaging I just want to say is absolutely amazing like it kind of reminds me of like the Chanel packaging I don't know if you guys have ever seen their foundations But it looks very similar to this and overall it's just very simple and just very pretty and this is actually in the shade soft sand Now I haven't actually tested this shade on my skin before so I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not the best when it comes to picking shades so it could totally be not my skin color but we're just we'll make it work so I'm just gonna put a pump on the back of the lid here and then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender oh yeah by the way I didn't actually pick up H&M brushes I don't know why I just I use a beauty blender a lot so I just kind of thought like should I shouldn't I so if that's something you guys would want to see in the future then also let me know down below but I'm just gonna go in with this foundation and oh, okay the colors actually works quite well and I'm just gonna dab this in with my beauty blender well the first thing I definitely want to say is it blends really really nicely and also the shade that I picked out goes up it actually is a really really nice shade and it also works very well for my skin this foundation I'm loving because it's like a very creamy and moisturizing I've said this before that I don't actually have like very dry skin but I just like my skin to feel like nice and moisturized and this is definitely working perfect for that okay so now as you can see the foundation is blended on my face overall I actually really do like this foundation and I definitely would use it again as much as the foundation is really nice and creamy where the primer is so matte like it's it feels a little bit like dry on my skin which isn't like the nicest feeling like I can kind of feel it like tightening up but I mean I definitely would use the foundation again it's really really good so now I'm gonna go in with concealer this is a concealer pen I've never used something like this before oh this is kind of cool though I've never actually used a concealer like this before so I'm very excited you just pump out the side and then I believe it comes out wait it's not it will it will now I'm hoping because it's quite like a matte finish so far I'm really hoping this is a very creamy concealer 
Uh, oh, okay, quite a lot has come out in one go, so I'm just going to spread different sides. Okay, so I'm going to apply like a triangle underneath my eye. The brush has made it really easy to apply though, what I'm really liking about it. And it definitely is creamy, just how I wanted it to be. So I'm really hoping this, you know, makes the look not so matte. The actual shade of it, I'm not a massive fan on. I prefer if it was more like whitish. But I mean, I do like it. It feels nice on my skin. It's quite hard to blend. Like, it won't, why would it blend in? That's really strange. So this isn't very blendable because as you can see it's given me quite a hard time. Normally my concealer doesn't take me this long to blend in. But I really like the look of it and I really like how it first felt on my face. But for some reason it just, I don't know, it's given me such a hard time it's not blending in on my face. I think I'm just going to go in with a brush and just hope for the best because the beauty blender is really not doing it. So I'm just going to go in with this like foundation buffing brush and just hopefully just try and like buff it all out because it's really not wanting to blend on my skin. So it definitely is working better with a brush than with a beauty blender. I don't know why, like I feel really sad right now. I expected this to be amazing, but if you could see close up, like it's gone so dry on my, I don't even have dry skin and it's gone so dry on my skin. I'm really, I don't know if it's the concealer or if it is the primer. Okay, after a while we have got somewhere. It's blended on my skin now. It's probably average taking me about 15 minutes and that's no exaggeration. I don't really know why, the concealer just didn't really work for my skin. But now I'm gonna go in with the translucent setting powder. This is high definition invisible powder. Now I'm not actually gonna bake with this, I'm literally just gonna like put my brush in it and just, you know, just put it all around my face. So I put it up on the lid, I've just got my powder brush and I'm just gonna brush this around my face. So I'm literally just gonna put a little bit on just to set my makeup. That was really really nice and the good thing about it as well is I find it's very hard to find a powder that actually is translucent because a lot of them say it but you, you know they still kind of give you that like whitish finish that you don't want you want it to be completely translucent you know and this one definitely works like I cannot see the powder and my skin feels a lot nicer now so that's all good. For bronzer, I've actually got like a cream bronzer. Now this is actually, what is this called? This is called the Light and Shade Contour Duo. This is defining and highlighting creamy and blendable, which is great because as you guys know, I like things that are nice and creamy and they blend very easily. So I'm hoping this one works on my skin. Now again, the packaging is so pretty. It's in a little compact. And what I love about it as well is the fact that it has a mirror. I love compacts that have mirrors. Like it just makes the palette so much better overall. So as you can see, it has like a bronzing shade and then it has a highlighting shade. So I'm literally just gonna use the bronzing shade for now as I think I did get a separate highlighter only because I don't like cream highlighters. Again, they really don't work for my skin. However, I can actually use like cream contouring palettes and cream bronzers. So I'm gonna have a go with this bronzer here. So with this little brush here, I'm just gonna dip it Dip it, dab it across, and I'm gonna put some on my cheekbone. Oh, it's come up quite dark. I think I've gone a little bit too far down my cheek. I'm gonna put some on my jawline to contour with. I'm gonna do the same for the other cheek. Maybe not so much that time. I applied way too much, I know, guys. These are like the most uneven lines, but by the time I blend it, I should, it should look good. Now I like this, because so far this is very blendable, which is really nice. And as it actually says, like on the front cover, it is very creamy as well, which is also really nice. So, so far I'm really liking this. Honestly, this bronzer is so beautiful. It's given me the perfect bronze and it's blended so nice on my skin as well. Again, it's so creamy. I'm kind of doing like circular motions because it just makes it quicker to blend. But it is blending so easily and I don't know, it's definitely contoured my face very nice and also has made this but look very highlighting and glowy. So I'm really feeling the bronzer. Overall, I just really love that palette. I just think it's such a pretty palette. 
I'm gonna go in and blend it on my forehead now. <laughs> this is the finished look with the bronzer. I am really feeling it actually. It's contoured my skin so nicely and I definitely would use that again. Guys, I just realized I completely forgot to tell you all, but I actually lost my blush. Now there was a hole in my bag and I lost my blush. And I only realized when I came home and a minute ago I was just like, yes, I picked up the prettiest blush and actually I forgot it. So it's the only thing I can't apply to my face. So I'm literally just gonna put a little bit of my own blush just to, you know, give that extra pop of color. So just to make it, you know, a third test so you can see like what it would look like. So this is just the Too Faced blush. I'm just quickly applying a little bit on my cheekbones. Now this is one of my favorite items that I bought and this is their highlighter. This, honestly, the packaging I love so much. Again, I'm really loving the black and white theme with the gold on. It's like a very glossy packaging again and this is their highlighter in the shade Delicate Pearl and it's so pretty. So literally one swipe of the hand and look at my finger. It's so pigmented which is like the best flipping thing ever. It's more of like a pinky kind of shimmery highlighter because it's kind of got like these pinky undertones which I think is so pretty and is really going to make my cheeks pop. And you guys know me. Well if you know me well you will know that I flip in love a lot of highlighter. I am very critical when it comes to a highlighter because I have used some good highlighters over time and I never really like to use any others but this is so stunning look at that highlight oh my goodness it definitely needs to be rubbed in but it is like popping on my skin right now I'm now gonna apply some on my chin oh my wow oh my hallelujah this stuff is great that needs to be rubbed in it's so pigmented uh, just above my cupid's bow, a little bit on my nose, I'm walking on the way up, and then I'm just going to apply a tiny bit on my forehead. Honestly, I really, really rate that highlighter, it's so nice, like, everything about it, the packaging, the price, I can't even remember exactly how much it was, but it was so affordable, definitely will be using this again, and it could even sneak its way into my everyday makeup routine as well. Now, if you follow my daily vlogging channel then you would know recently that I actually got my eyebrows microbladed so I never really tend to fill them in anymore so I'm gonna go just straight in with the eyeshadow oh my goodness the actual packaging of the the eyeshadow packaging is just so so pretty it's, it really reminds me of the Kylie Jenner um, eyeshadow palette that she's brought out recently and this is just their eye color palette in the shade I think it's like Aubergine Dream I, I might be wrong, I don't really know, but it's such a pretty palette. Now, I thought I would go a little bit outside my comfort zone. Oh yeah, but quickly about the packaging, it's so nice with like the eyes and it's very like Kylie Jenner-ified. So yeah, the palette that I picked up, there was so many different palettes actually. Again, there was so much like with variety. This is more of like a purple toned palette, but I don't know, I just thought I could make a really pretty simple look with this palette. I don't know, more of like a burgundy kind of purple smoky eye. I'm not really going to do too much because like that's kind of like my weakest point when it comes to makeup but I felt like you could definitely make some like really pretty looks with this and I've never really seen colours like this before either so this is why I actually went towards this palette. Again it's so nice, it has the mirror in it as well so I'm just going to apply some of this on my eye. Hi guys, I'm a little bit closer on your screen right now. So I'm gonna first go, oh, what color am I gonna go in with first? So I think I'm gonna kind of go in with like this nudie-ish one here, just for the base. And like I've got like a big kind of like powder brush just to blend this in. So I'm gonna put this on the base of my eye. Oh, it's come out a lot darker than I was expecting. It's come out a lot darker than I'm expecting and I'm also going to go in with this shade here which is more of like a ready kind of purple. This is a very pigmented palette. I'm actually really rating it so far. I think I'm going to also have to go in the shop and pick up the pinky palette as well because if it's anything like this palette I definitely will be using it a lot. So I know this definitely won't be the most amazing look you've ever seen in your entire life but it was so simple and I only used two colours for this look. The eyeshadow palette is amazing, it's so pigmented, I definitely will be using it again and I think I might have to go into the store and get 
the other palettes as well because they're so affordable for the amount of shade. I think there was like 12 shades inside and I really love the look that I created. Now going in with mascara, I automatically fell in love with the mascara because I really liked the size of the wand. It looks really good. I can tell already it's going to be like a quite clumpy mascara but that's fine. I didn't actually pick up any eyeliner but I'm just going to go straight in with the mascara now. I'm actually really liking this mascara. I'm really liking the fact as well that you get a lot of product on the brush because I find with like cheaper mascaras, the only problem is is you don't really tend to get that much product on the brush. However, this one's actually working really, really well. I feel like I totally misjudged this mascara because actually it's not as clumpy as I thought it would be. It really actually spread out my eyelashes and it's worked really, really well. I really like this mascara. I'm now going to go in with eyelashes. Now, there wasn't much variety when it came to eyelashes and I'm not such a fan on the eyelashes that I picked, but these are like the best ones there. Right, here it goes. I'm going to apply some eyelash glue on the eyelash and just try and stick these on on camera. Right, eyelashes are on. One really good thing about the eyelashes is the band of the eyelashes were really thin and small that they were so easy to stick on my eyes, which is great. If you're not good at eyelashes, try H&M ones out because they're so easy, the band is so small. So they went on my eyes really easily, which I really like. Now I'm going to go in with my final products. Now I've got a lipstick and I've also got a lip gloss. Now this is called In A Nutshell and it's a nude in the shade 010. And this is the lipstick I'm going to be using. Again, the packaging is just so flipping beautiful. I love the gold so much. So where's my mirror gone? Okay, I'm going to be applying this on my lips. <gasps> the shade. I love this. This is their lip gloss in the shade Velvet Lip Cream. By the way, this is, wait, I don't know if this is matte actually. Oh, I don't think this is a lip gloss. I think this is matte. So I think I'll apply, I don't really know. I'm just gonna apply a little bit in the middle of my lips and see if it is matte. But this lipstick, I would definitely be using again. It was so easy to apply. I love the shade. Again, there was so much when it came to lipsticks. There was a massive variety like of shades and stuff. And I just happened to pick out a really nice one. Now I'm going to go in with this velvet lip cream. Yeah, I believe this is matte. So I'm just going to apply a little bit to ombre my lips and apply a little bit in the middle. This is like a lighter kind of shade. Again, it's so pretty. So there you go guys, that is the end of my full phase of only using H&M makeup. Overall, I really rate this makeup. The only thing I don't rate, I would say, is the concealer. And I think I'm partly going to blame that on the primer as well. I feel like we kind of went to a bad start, but towards the end, we kind of, you know, lifted ourselves up and it ended up being a really pretty makeup look. I mean, I really like the way this looks. And to be fair, my skin, now I've applied like, you know, the bronzer and stuff. My skin doesn't feel so dry anymore, so it does feel very nice and quite light on my skin as well, which is always good. So yeah, this is the end result of using only H&M makeup. If you guys enjoyed, then please smash a big thumbs up. And also let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more videos like this. Maybe, not even if you don't want to see like testing makeup products out. Maybe if you want to see like, I don't know, just testing items or things in general then please let me know it down in the comments and also smash a like again i swear i just said that saffron you just said that but yeah smash a like <laughs> may as well anyways i hope you guys enjoyed hopefully i'll see you all very very soon and that's it from me bye